morning. All right, so I'm gonna need your help a little bit today um, because you guys have helped me with this before. It is really, really windy. It's been windy for days here and it will not let up. It's one of the, the wonderful things about living on the river and one of the curses is that it's a lot windier here than anywhere else. So the problem with wind is that a lot of times when I'm doing these videos, you can't hear me. So I'm gonna assume that you can until somebody pipes up and tells me in a comment that you can't at all. <laughs> um, so if you can't hear me, let me know so that I know to kind of make some adjustments. I'm hiding basically in the woods. <laughs> so I'm in a kind of a different location slightly just so that I can probably, you can hear me. So we were gonna talk about macro management and you're probably like wondering what the heck is macro management, right? Um, everybody hears about micromanagement. Don't micromanage. Nobody likes to be micromanaged. It's not effective. Don't do it. And macromanagement is basically the opposite of that. And I, I've learned this, well, you know, like most of these things that I talk about is things that I'm struggle with and I will never get right. And I just basically am sharing my struggles with you. So by no means do I have this down or understand it or get it right exactly. But I can tell you how I've worked with it. So years ago when I started my company, I was immensely busy. I mean like crazy, crazy busy, you know, working nine, around the clock practically. And I hired an assistant, which was a great thing. I was like, oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna have so much time on my hands. It's gonna be great. And that poor assistant sat in the corner of my office while I was going crazy working. And, um, and she was just sitting there like, hey, give me some work. And I'm like, I, I can't, I don't have time. I don't have time to give you that work. I'm really, really, really busy. And eventually, finally, I started handing her off some work. And what I realized was that the investment in time and teaching her how to do something was obviously going to pay off. I mean, and this seems like such common sense, right? If you're listening from the outside here. But even though it seems common sense, we don't do it. I mean, so let's say that a task takes me 10 minutes to do, but it's gonna take me 20 minutes to teach her how to do it. Well, it's worth the time to spend those 20 minutes because it's gonna save me hours over the next year. So the other thing about macro management and the difference between macro management and micro management is that you're telling somebody, hey, I want you to achieve this goal or I want you to do this task. It's not saying, hey, here comes some more wind and it's coming in from the outside. <laughs> so I don't know if you can hear me or not, but it's telling them exactly like, hey, this is what I want you to achieve, not exactly how to do it. Here's step one, step two, step three. You let that person figure out how to do it themselves. You just tell them what the end goal is. And so like the difference would be if I was telling somebody to make spaghetti, I would just say, hey, I'd like some spaghetti and I would like a salad on the side. Instead of, hey, please put one pound of spaghetti and, and you know three quarts of water, add a salt at this time, at this temperature. That's micromanagement. And there's some great things that happen when you do macromanagement. One is, is that really cool innovation happens because despite what we believe, someone might actually be able to do it better than we. And what they're gonna do is take what they've seen and watched us do, and they're gonna build on it and make it better. And so in the end, there's gonna be a better process in place. Um, and it's, that's hard to do because we sit back and we go, oh, but that's not how I would have done it. Well, yeah, you know what? Maybe that's good. Maybe it's good that they're not doing it like you would have because it might actually be better. The other thing is, is that whoever it is that you're not micromanaging, they're learning, right? You learned how to do it by messing up, doing things and going, oh, that didn't quite work the way I thought it was going to. And by micromanaging them, you are taking away that opportunity from them to learn and grow and make their own mistakes. And this really, you know, it applies to business, right? And I'm talking about our business, you know, sense that, you know, if you're managing people, but it also applies to our children or people that we volunteer with. It really applies to everybody. And what made me think of it this week is that, you know, we're going um, away for a little while and my daughter's going to be taking care of the farm. 
and I am micromanaging the heck out of her. I am writing down every little contingency that could possibly go wrong so that she doesn't make the mistake. Well, you know what? Maybe she'll come up with better systems and better ways of doing things if I didn't do that. Man, it's hard to let go though, isn't it? So that's my advice, I guess to myself more than anyone else, but hopefully it helps you too. Because I'm sure there's something in today or this week that you probably are struggling with micro versus macro management. But there, here comes the sun. <laughs> I know, I get excited every time. Why is that? That is a cool one though, isn't it? It's a, it's a big, big ball of sunshine. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love it every time. So I don't know if you guys could hear me because of the wind, but I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad that you joined me to watch the sunrise. I'm going to let it come up. You guys can listen to the wind and the waves and everything else Mother Nature is bringing to us. So good morning. Make it a good day. Make it a great week. And I will see you guys next week. It might be a slightly different time next week. I will let you know. Uh, but if you don't see me, I will show up sometime on Tuesday. Um, it just might be a slightly different time. So, but I do have a surprise for you next week. So definitely stay tuned next week. It should be kind of a, a guessing game. So. Oh, Ooh, it's so nice. Good morning to you as well. Wow. Oh, thank you everybody for joining me. It really is such a pleasure and joy and wonderful opportunity to be able to share this with you and I thank each one of you for giving me this opportunity. It's been great. Isn't that amazing how it lights it up? deep breath. <sighs> Let it out. Let's start our day. Let's make it a great one. See you guys.